Welcome back, Dark Cadets. In this video, we're gonna delve into sprints because this is where we're gonna get to. Before all this part, we have created uh, a backlog of items. Uh, for now, we're gonna start with these uh, uh, simple ones we got here just so we can continue on. But uh, I think eventually we'll add more just to, as we progress. But there are a few things I want to show you. When we come here to the uh, sprints, it's, quite, it's right now empty. Uh, and if we go to backlogs here, this will be working from when we want to uh, move them on to the sprints. And we see right now they have these names, iteration one, iteration two, and three. And you might want a different uh, naming convention than that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the project settings down here. And then I'm gonna go to, uh, I think it was project configuration. Right, yeah. And uh, we see here, these are the three predefined uh, iterations we get uh, with the template, the Agile uh, work item process. But I'm going to edit this one and I'm going to call it Sprint 1. And I'm going to set the start date, if we're now the 12th, uh, the Saturday, I'm going to set it to Monday. Say, assuming we had, I've had my sprint planning and all that with my team. And we're going to begin the first sprint on the 14th officially. So I'm putting that and we, have, we will have a two week sprint. So I'm saying it will end on the 25th of April and I'll save and close. Then I'll do the same with iteration two. I'll set to sprint two. And the second sprint will begin. If our first sprint ended 25th, we will have a sprint planning. We'll have a retrospective and review here at the Friday and then we'll have a new planning and start from the 28th of April. I'll click on save. All right, maybe I forgot the end date. Uh, sorry about that. Um, pretty close. Uh, officially, uh, my project will end on the 8th. Um, but uh, for you, it might be different. A little shorter sprint. And we don't need the iteration 3 because we have completed it. But for you, as the project progresses, uh, with the people you're doing this with or just alone, this is up to change. So I'm going to delete this one. And now we only have two. Now, if I click uh, Cloud Cadets up here, or perhaps the fastest way, the boards icon here. And if you can't remember what they are in the beginning, because it takes some time to memorize, uh, we can click this show more information here, and then there's no doubt. And I, instead of clicking two times, click there once, and then again, I'm just gonna go to backlogs. So, now we see here to the right, they are updated and we even got dates. The first sprint will have 10 working days and the second sprint will have nine working days. And uh, even this section, similar to the board section, has this uh, kind of like a filter system. Uh, for now, we're only seeing the stories and that might be all that you really want. You don't perhaps want it to be cluttered. Uh, I mean, if or, or if you want to be able to have a better overview, I mean, it's not, you're not gonna be spending a lot of time in this section, uh, only here when you're doing the sprint planning. And for me, uh, you can't, you're, you're not supposed to move these parts uh, there, but uh, we can start, uh, even if I move the, this uh, feature here, you won't see anything there. It's based on uh, user stories. So I move this user story here. This is what I'm going to work on the first print. And we see it has uh, incremented by one user story and two tasks, because that's what we have. And then eventually we'll add more and we move it there. Now for us, I want to be able to go now to sprints, and we see it. This is how the UI is going to look. Uh, and we'll see that if I go to sprint two in the future, there's nothing here because we haven't added anything there. And now we come back here to sprint one. And here we can assign ourselves or other members. Uh, sadly, there won't be any other members in our demos because all my friends are in, uh, in other dimensions. That's the official story at least. So let's continue. Um, right now we have walked through the boards, or actually the first, the work items, uh, the boards and the backlogs, uh, and the sprints. And I think before we end it here, I just want to see if we can see it here clearly. This is a filter. We can close it. We can access it, uh, from this show filter close. And here we have the view options can show different things. Uh, I want to see, I don't think it's shown by default. Uh, let's see if I go back to user stories. All ah, right. Mm. So look at here. We have something called an iteration path here. 
and we see there's the name of the team or organization i think it's both uh, slash sprint one now let's add another let's make our life easier let's go back to features let's use this different way of adding things quick as well not just in boards so say in authentication uh, i'm going to add another user story and i'm going to call it as a user i want to be able to sign in to access well stuff i guess let's keep it simple to access stuff and we see uh, automatically down here uh, the link to the parent authentication and uh, let's see uh, right right so if i go back down to stories look what happened here that new story is in cloud cadets this one is in sprint one now i could have uh, created a new work item here uh, and it would set it automatically to this so this is a different way of doing it there it's up to you how you like it this sets it to that they call it iteration path by default uh, while you would have to move it here and i think the reason i do i want to mention this is because of um, say you added tasks here uh, say sign uh, in uh, ui let's keep it simple and we add it task uh, sign in flow if i add a thing to oh, okay so you see it updated with the user story there right we see it there but it looks a bit different from that one right it's because this one isn't part of the sprint uh, so there's a reason i generally create user stories first before the tests and if i move it there we even got the other one and we saw this update now it's part of the sprint one uh, and now it's blue and blue minor details uh it's hard to describe at the beginning why this would be a problem uh, for some it won't be and for some others they will be but me i personally begin with the user stories once they're here on the sprint then we break them down to tasks uh, and uh, we conclude it here so the video doesn't get too long and in the next one we're going to delve a bit deeper on what we can do to customize our experience here so onto the next uplink cadets